There we go. Liu Kang. There we go. There he is. Everybody, that's Liu Kang. It is. Champion. The champion. The chosen one? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's talk about and it. And part-time Revenant. Part-time Revenant. Oh, he's a full-time Revenant now. Right. Whoa, don't give anything away, bro. I mean, the story trailer, he's hey. a Revenant. All right, let's talk about him. Okay. How's he play? Uh, he is classic Liu Kang. Yep. I think um, his fight style, like his normal attacks, are pretty similar to what we did in MK9 and MK10. We didn't want to reinvent the wheel with him. Because yeah. I think Liu Kang is one of the characters where when you pick up Liu Kang, you kind of want to know what you're getting. Like, right. he's a great beginner character, mm -hmm. a great character that's just... You just want to kick people in the head. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's his abilities that really set him apart. So let's go into it. Let's cool. do it. Liu Kang, here we go. The big new thing is his nunchucks are back. Ooh. He actually had those in the 3D games, and I right. always thought it was really cool. And they were back. He uses them in some of his combos, his throws. Let's do the other one, because it's super cool. We, Steve, we actually played today a little bit. I was playing against your Liu Kang, and... Uh, you're pretty good with him so far. Yeah, well, Liu Kang's actually one of my favorite characters in MK. Which surprised me, I didn't know that. And he's, uh, I don't know if this is true for this, uh, for MK11, but he was, he's just generally simple to play with yes. a, lot of, a lot of payoff. And that's definitely true. So, Gosh. There are some things about him, though, uh, like we always talk about with our games. It's yes. like, there's some stuff that's on the upper level that, like, yeah. maybe you never have to even get to. There's some stances, there's some stuff like that. Um, right. So he doesn't always use his nunchucks. I wouldn't call him a weapons character. It sure. more kind of complements it. He still has his martial arts moves, which still look super cool. Ooh. Liu Kang's always had some of my favorite kicks in our games. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of that, the stomp. Show and stomp, bam. I'm excited to see more people as the game, as people get their hands on the game, using those hop maneuvers more often. Yeah. Because they, uh, they're some of my favorite things to do, and sometimes like, when you're when you actually just fake a wake up and do a short hop, and people are waiting for the wake up, you can get the overhead sometimes right. if they're ducking if they're ducking low. So his base loadout for special moves is exactly what you'd expect it to be. It's classic, straight up classic, classic Mortal Kombat 2. He has a really good fireball. You can amplify it, and it's super fast. Good damage. Flying kicks back. It's it's flying kick. Yeah, it's what you expect. The amplified is sort of new. He does this cool flip. It's a great combo ender. It's a great check from full screen. Mm -hmm. It actually has a crushing blow on it with a pretty unique uh, requirement? requirement. So what you have to do is you have to hit an air fireball from full screen at max distance. Oh, oh that's awesome. <laughs> you convert it like that, you get the crushing blow. I'm going to get that every time. That actually, as a Liu Kang player, something will probably happen quite yeah, a bit. It is, yeah, it's, it's kind of, it sounds like you have to do this, this, and this, but it's something that you naturally do since like MK3. Air fireballs with Liu Kang, it's what right. you do, right? Like Bite kicks back, and it's actually been changed up a little. The meter burn one, he does multiple. And then this is what really makes me happy. This is We're about to just do my favorite thing about Liu Kang. He can double it and just do it for 100 push meters. Push you in the corner, that's awesome. Yeah, it, yeah. It is. And then once you're in the corner, you're in Liu Kang's territory. Right, yeah, I definitely think Liu Kang excels there. Um, now there is a... Uh, there's a crushing blow with the, with the bicycle kick. Yes. This one is actually after three meter burns. Three? Meter yeah, burns? you have to meter burn it three times. No, no, no. Okay. have to do it three times. In a, in a match. Yeah, in a match. I got to get my stamina back. Look at this. Show us some swaggy combos, by the way. You got swaggy right. combos? There's no meter. Yeah. Oh. All right. So then the third time. Wait, I didn't meter burn. So now I have it loaded. I've done yeah. three. Now, the next time I do regular, it'll Whoa. go into the crushing blow. That's so it's interesting that it's actually the regular one that does it, but you have to do the amplified one three, three times, times before you right. can get it. Well, because you have no meter anymore. I right, mean, yeah. exactly. So let's go over the loadout I made here. Mm. Now, if, just for everyone knows, uh, there'll be two loadouts per character today. Yes. Because we're doing three characters right. and we want to... we got to cruise through we, this, We don't want to keep everybody on watching us all day because there's also beta to play. Right. So, so right. the first move I gave him is his Shaolin parry. It behaves as you'd expect from a parry. It'll beat mids and highs. He'll knock you away. The cool mm. thing is you can actually amplify it, and he gets a pop-up. Oh, you should have gone to the bicycle kick, man. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> get put in the corner. Now, the reason I wanted to show this is it also has a really cool crushing blow requirement. It's if you parry a wake-up attack. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that is cool. Just a one-inch punch. Yep. Uh, that's yep. awesome. Yeah. And one thing that's, that's neat. a lot of damage, too. And it's kind of rare with Crushing Blows is it's before the Amplified, and you can actually still Amplify. Oh, no, you can't. Woo! 
So that is a <coughs> good amount of damage. You told me not to say hemma damage, so I won't. Yeah, because no one knows what hemma means. But Can if we I say hella? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I would describe that as Shaolin hella damage. Hella damage. And but you are, you know, you're using your so your crushing blows right there. Yes. Yeah. And remember, you can only use the crushing blow once per game. Mm -hmm. So even if you read that they're going to do wake up attack and you're going to win anyway, you actually don't want to use it. Yep. The second thing I gave him in this loadout is his fire buff. You turn this on and it increases the damage for all of his attacks and it sets up a second ability that I equipped, which is his teleport. This is a brand new move. Ooh. He'll warp behind them. And this actually has different versions. For example, he can drop down if you hold up into an overhead. It's a super quick overhead or actually sweep you. So it becomes a 50-50 mix up off of a teleport. But he has to have the fire on. Exactly. Only when he has the fire on. So for the custom variation system, this is actually pretty in depth because you have to have the buff on and then the teleports on. Right. So that's taking up two of your slots right. for a very, very powerful. I was gonna say, I mean, it seems to be pretty damn worth it. Yeah. For, for a 50 50 mix up like that, which obviously doesn't lead to full combos, right. but as a player who's playing against Liu Kang, he has the fire on. Now's the only time I need to worry about that. Right. What's he going to do? He's going to yep. just instantly mix it. So if it's the fire buff's on, I'm not too scared about that. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's cool. I love neat. connecting uh, like air fireballs to anything. Like, it's yeah. just the most fun thing in the world. So there's a pop up, off of, there's a back two? Yeah, that's back two. All right, one more loadout. One more loadout. Let's see it, Steve. Let's go over his human variation. This is my Liu Kang. Yeah. The classic, like, MK2, the hero of the Earth Realm, mm -hmm. the goody-goody guy. That's, that's Liu Kang I play. And I think he looks super cool. I like his pants a lot. Can we take a minute to appreciate this background? Because it looks awesome. Yo, yeah, Shaolin Trap Dungeon is so cool. So, real quick also, uh, we will be getting to a fatality for each character. Yes. We're going to do it in a quick little uh, versus match to make yes. it easier. And we will show you, of course, the uh, crush, the uh, fatal blows. Fatal blows. So this loadout, I wanted to be based on his nunchucks, and I gave him a couple of nunchuck moves. The first one is actually, I don't think Wu King's ever had one before, a command grab. Mm. It's like a full on, it's not like a an attack throw, it's an actual command grab. And it has a really cool amplify where he gets additional damage. And then he has a stance. You go into it and now you have a few options. One is an overhead. Ooh, it goes into this auto combo. Four is actually a low that goes into an auto combo. And then the coolest is he gets a projectile absorb. Give me that. Give me that. Now, here's the cool thing about that. Tell us. You've done how many? There's three different attacks out of it and a projectile yes. absorb. Now, similar to Jackie Briggs, who has a uh, her her clinch set up. Once you've done all of those attacks, you've loaded up a crushing blow. Wow, it's like you guys practiced that. Yeah. That was really good. So, when you're fighting Liu Kang in the stance, you have to keep track of which moves he's done. And that means he also has to successfully absorb a projectile. Mm -hmm. So you could literally, if he's done the first two attacks, stop doing your projectile so he doesn't have a chance, or bait out the Liu Kang going into the stance and do like a double projectile. Or, sure. There's a whole bunch of mind games. And then he'll have it loaded, and the next time he does stance one, He's gonna get that pop up into a combo. Yeah. Cool. What happens if he plays against a character with that projectile? Then you can't get it. Then you just can't do it. Yep. Uh, what do we got left? That's Liu Kang. All right, Fatal Blow. Fatal Blow. Let's do it. I'm, I'm a big fan of this one. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Now, a lot of people on Twitter thought that was his fatality. Oh, yeah. little do you know. They folks. didn't realize the, the, the sort of the, 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 the background and the lighting, yeah. how that all changes for those. Um, so, no, that is actually Just fatal, a blow. fatal blow. So, I would say the overarching thing on Liu Kang here is it's Liu Kang. Yeah. We, we did Classic not. Classic Kang. We really didn't want to redesign him. I, I think that's what Liu Kang players like just the pressure, the zoning. Well, I don't know if we'd say we didn't want to redesign him, right? We just want to keep him true to the character and but add and enhance him, add, add these new moves and yes. abilities to him. And there are. That's the abilities is where it comes. I think right. the custom variation system is where he's going to be different. Right. So your ba everyone's base Liu Kang is going to be kind of. The standard Liu Kang that we've played, mm -hmm. very easy to pick up and play. Yeah. And, and the abilities are like the stance. There's another stance that we're not showing. There's, sure. There's a more bunch for, the, of... for you guys to explore right. when yes. it comes out here. Let's actually set up real quick uh, to play to get him through a little show of fatality. Derek, we'll yeah. talk real quick though. Yeah, what's up? You were a fan in, in MKX of playing Liu Kang. Yes. Do you see yourself going back to that Absolutely. 
Absolutely. I was thinking about looking at it too. Um, yeah. I just love the back two pop up, right? Mm -hmm. Like I will use that all day into a swaggy combo, into fireball, drop my combo, try it again, and drop it again. I will say this. The times that you got it, it was it was good. It was good. really good. Felt good. But now that I can just amplify that bicycle kick twice, I'm all in. We come from different worlds, Johnny. Aren't you from Earth Realm too? I mean, I come from the real world. Wow, oh. straight roasted. Wow. So now Steve's gonna play against the computer and just do cool uh, Liu Kang stuff to, till he gets to the end. Let's see it. Here. Oh. Okay. Um, one thing that Ed had touched on at Comic-Con is if a variation or uh, building your variation system is you can actually kind of build classic versions of the characters, the classic Scorpion, classic uh, Liu Kang. So yes. it's, it's really cool to see what we can, classic Jade, right? You may have noticed I did not do low Fireball, that is not base loadout, but if you want that, that is an ability that you can choose to use. Right. I, I personally use that when I play him. Oh yeah. Yes you do. The more projectiles, the better. Yeah. I, I usually use Nunchuck Stance and Low Fireball. All right, so let's go. It's AI. Did you put it on like medium? I'm, yeah, I'm trying to do stuff. Well, you're not doing much stuff. I'm doing stuff. You just got teched by the computer. All right. All right, here you go. Oh. All right. Don't mess this up. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, great. It's almost like he shot a bullet of energy through it. I mean, he's really powerful. 